Hey, Corey. So here is uh, something I think that will be very, very fun for us to talk about next time you're out. Look at this. Exactly what we were kind of hoping for. Should be very, very, like I said, very, very fun for us to talk about this. Next time you're out, feel free to even call me if you want, man. Uh, next few days during the finals, if you want to ask me any questions about what we're seeing right here. Just as I suspected. Look at that. More straight up and down for sure. Obviously, as you can tell, the camera angles are different than what we use, but you can still see some of the things that uh, we've talked about today. Shame here, man. For whatever reason, looks like this is not going to give us the. Uh, huh. It's not going to give us the full swing here, man. Just on that one, it just gave us to uh, <laughs> the takeaway. But this is the main thing you and I were kind of looking for. Very, very helpful to see this for us. All right, man. I'll probably get you some more here soon, too. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Hi, this is Joel. I'm here at Dr. Todd Elwood's office. He's one of the best chiropractors in the region. He's a TPI certified golf fitness professional. And I really want you to know about him because he can help you a lot with your golf fitness, just as he's helped my young student Taylor here in the last year or so. And how we met, Taylor came into my office with back pain. We basically, what we took him through is numerous screens to find out why he had the back pain. I don't only treat back pain, but my, my second goal is to find out exactly why he has this problem. So we analyzed him, we find out he had some certain weaknesses, we're putting on some strengthening exercises, and he's doing very well. He's done great. He's had very little back pain, and that's mainly because he injured it himself working too hard at the golf course. So he's done his exercises. He's felt great. I'm very, very thankful that Todd's been able to help Taylor in this great way, and I want him to help you, too, if you have any questions at all about your golf fitness. Thank you. Thank you. This is Joel Suggs. I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend and showing you your swing on the 2D equipment that I have, and so I want to take about two or three minutes to just show you around meddling. This is the studio I use in the winter for all my students. You see there's a down the line camera angle for our 2D equipment. And then we have the face on camera angle also. And then what we also have here is 3D equipment to where I can show you your swing from six different camera angles with this 3D equipment. And we can get your swing from down to the 1 20th of a, 1 120th of a second in terms of exactly what your hips, shoulders, and hands are doing in the swing. And then also, we, I have the most realistic hitting curve I've ever seen from PuttersEdge.com. So when you hit your full shot, it feels as realistic as possible. And then I have three different green speeds for you to practice your putting. 9.5 on the step meter, 10.5 on the step meter, and 12.5 on the step meter. That benefits my students tremendously. And then also I have a lot of learning aids like this smart stick, 
You can see the rest of those learning aids over here in my bag that we can work on to help you learn a certain field in golfing that you and I both want. And then also I help my students a lot with their equipment through the winter. This is a frequency analyzer where we twang your club and it gives us a reading here. And then also we plot your whole set, each club on this, these lines to see if the set is really matched or not. Quite often they aren't and it helps my students tremendously when they find out what clubs are the offending clubs. Then if we get tired of being indoors and we want to go outdoors and get some, we can do that. It's my daughter. Ellie, good to see you. I haven't seen her in weeks. <laughs> no wonder you've been gone, Ellie. You've been out here playing in the snow all this time. But this is our natural turf area. This is closed until April, as you can see. Uh, but it's a fantastic area where we can step outside and hit some balls and get some real ball flight. Or if we get pretty satisfied and things are looking better on the video here, we're kind of cooped up inside and want to go outside, we can step on out and hit balls and see real ball flight for about 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, however long you and I can stand the cold, out into the air and we see them land at these different flags. I have a yardage book for this driving range. It's the first one I've ever seen in my life where we know exactly what it is for the front, back, and middle of each green. And again, the covered area here is heated, so we stay out there for about 5, 10, 15 minutes, like I said, and it enables us to see some ball flight, and then we get satisfied and things are looking the way we want, and we come back inside, take off our coat, and look again at the video equipment to see how your swing's looking, to make sure that you understand it. And then notice too, my exercise ball up top here, and then also, so I help my students a lot with their fitness through the winter, and then I will help you also with your sports psychology, with your golf psychology from the golfpsych.com people down in Texas. That's helped my students tremendously a lot over the years too. So again, I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend. I look forward to seeing you again out here this summer at Meadowlinks, or even right now in the winter. I have a lot of people that work on their games with me right through the winter. Check out more information about the things I do to help you at joelsud.com. Take care.